This will be a lesson on a Gus Cannon song called Poor Boy Long Ways From Home that he recorded in 1929. The tuning of the song is Spanish tuning, but if you listen to the original recording, it's a little bit out of tune. Um, I tried to get close, so this is what I got for tuning, just going uh, string by string. So that's mainly the riff that Gus Cannon plays. So the way that starts is way up on the fifth fret, but but um, past the octave. So that'll be the seventeenth fret. So you'll be starting by actually playing this. So that'll be at the twelfth fret. So never mind what I said about the seventeenth fret for now. And then you'll just slide into the 12th fret of the of the second string, and then land on the 12th fret of the third string. A couple small things to keep in mind here. One is you slide into it. So you kind of get that minor to major. And then you can kind of slide back down and then get back into the 12th fret of the G string. So instead of just two things, slide in, and then when you after you slide in and pick that second string, you can come back down a little bit and then go back into the G string. Kind of gives a little bit more of a... Of a more of a moany sound. And that's sort of like what Dwayne Allman would do. I can't, I'm not really much of an expert at all, but you slide in, come back down, then go back in. So yeah, go in, back out, then back in. And then you get into the main riff, which goes like this. Oh. So what that is is now we're uh, now in, it goes into the fifth fret above the twelfth fret. It's the seventeenth fret, but I'll just call it the octave fifth fret, where you'll go um, pluck the second string sliding in. Then you pluck the top string when you get up to that fifth octave fret, back into the second fret, and then you go back into the twelfth fret again and do really the same thing. Second string, first string, so back to the second string, then to the third string. Second, first, second, third. So again, now you repeat that two, one, two, second, first, second, then you go into the tenth fret, second, first, second string. So Then to the fifth string, or fifth fret, where you go second string, first string, second string, third string. And, you, you, and then there's
is that. So it's really this. For each one, you're kind of sliding in to start. So just to recap, there are three sections so far. This one, this one, that's the second section. And then the third, which has the longer uh, series. And then it just gets finished off like this. Where it's sort of a slide into the third fret of say the second and third strings together. And then just the third string. Again, same sort of, to get that moany sound, you go up and back down. Maybe not even a full fret, but just starting from the third fret, a bit up, back to the third, and an open third string. And then, there's this. Just a little bit of a strum. So really just those four things so far. First one, second one, third one, and then fourth one. Now the fifth is this strum, which is pretty simple. It's just, it's just a fifth string. Then everything else above it open. So I just hit that with my thumb and then just kind of come down with uh, some fingers. And then this hammer on on the fourth string from zero to two. And then the strings above that. It's really just the turnaround where I'll just play a little bit on the seventh fret, a little bit on the fifth fret, then back to the strum. So it'll be something like. That's really just something like uh, second, str second string to first string on the seventh fret. Same thing on the fifth fret. And then that same sort of finisher on the third string where it's on the third fret and you kind of go up and down a little bit. And back to the strum. So really that's it for the, for the turnaround. It could be this or it could be or a different combination. So really that's the song. I will say one more thing about this drum. When you come down, you can kind of come back up. It kind of gives it a little more of a syncopation where it'll, so it'll be bass note, strum down, Kind of cat and then cat kind of catch the top strings coming back up. And then when it's up to speed, it gives it, it there's a bit more of a bounce. All right, so that's really the song. That's really the whole song. Um, there are slight variations where sometimes he won't play the second part. He'll just go. He'll just go straight into that. But those are just very slight changes. Other slight changes that he'll make, and this will be the last thing that I say, is that um, sometimes he, on some choruses, he doesn't really do this run. He'll just do these simple things like
that's really the same thing as what we were going over on the turnaround, where it's just some stuff on the top three strings of the fifth fret, some stuff on the top three strings of the seventh, and then just the little finisher. And that's, that's the lesson. If you're interested in what the rhythm guitar is doing, I can shortly get into that right now. It's really just, um, and this is hard because there's a rhythm guitar playing with Gus Cannon, and he's probably in standard tuning, he, he or she. So, but it can sort of be emulated. I'll just give a rough idea of what he's doing. So, on on the chord, on the the start, it's really just these sorts of bass lines. that sort of classic um, boogie sort of line. And what I'm doing is just hitting the bass notes, but then just coming up on the treble strings open. string too. Or things like that. So just uh, making sure that you do hit those arpeggio notes. some arpeggio notes of the four chord. And then same for the five chord. Four chord. Uh, I guess the lesson being keeping it simple for those bass lines is best. But yeah, that's really the a rough idea of what's going on with the rhythm section and